Hello, everybody, and welcome to some Dynasty Warriors 4. This is not Empires. This is not a strategy kind of thing. This is just straight up Dynasty Warriors. Um, <clears throat> it's an older one. It's one I really like. Uh, it doesn't have like the story structure that started developing in Dynasty Warriors 5. Um, it's just kind of like you pick a character and play through kind of preset stories that somewhat follow, uh, you know, along with the, uh, you know, lore, I guess. Um, but as you can see, I guess I've already played this. I uh, played through on way. But I want to do... Oh, my God. I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly. I guess we could play through somebody with a spear. I want to do somebody with a spear. We could do a Guan Yu playthrough. Um, Yuan Shao has some officers. Oh, I got Lu Bu. Ooh. Actually, dude. Maybe we should play as Lu Bu, huh? That'd be kind of fun. I know we played Lu Bu on the uh, Dynasty Warriors... <clears throat> What's it called? On that Dynasty Warriors playthrough, the Empire's one we just did, but he's a spear, he's strong. I mean, why not, right? Let's do it. Act 1. Alliance against Dong Shuo. Yeah, okay, so it picks up, uh, you know, a little further along, and then I guess we just go and do whatever, but... Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be really interesting, though, I think. Also, you guys will be able to hear, like... Of chaos real voice lines of voice acting in this one compared to like the Empire's ones that they just piece together. <clears throat> I fight for myself and only for myself. I do not care about Dong Zhuo. What is it? Saturday? <laughs> I'm starting to think of when I'm recording this. What day is it? I think it's actually Saturday right now when this comes out, of course, but it's also Saturday when I'm recording this, so that's kind of weird. All right, yeah, so we can skip all that stuff. Sea Shui Gate. I really want to do Zhao Yun, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, so I have some orbs and I have some harnesses. Or not harnesses, some items. Let's do a fire orb. Let's do, ooh, Tiger Amulet for attack. Because here there's actually, like, health pickups and things like that on the floor. So I want the attack because you can't really do anything about that. My weapon is probably nothing, right? Yeah, it's just a nothing weapon right now. I uh, always turn the bodyguards off because they kind of get in my way. In this game, you need to um, grab pickups and stuff uh, from like like attack and defense ups and things like that. You have to pick it up from boxes and or not boxes. Um, Enemy officers you defeat. Ow, hello. Yeah, wow. All right. Uh, that's right off the bat. Just a little tougher than I expected. <laughs> I mean, and he's blocking, of course, right away. So that's typical, too. But the life recovery is good. You can kind of pick those up, like, anywhere now, which is nice. God damn. See, the lucky thing about this is, yeah, like, they have a lot of damage they do, but they also, you know, actually die. It's very different than uh, the Empire's way of playing. Alright, see you later. Because Empire's, you really just get thrust into it, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't even need that, I don't know why I went to get it. But yeah, so they just kind of put you in the battle, and, you know, you, you have... You don't do a lot of damage, but you also don't take a lot of damage early on. And you can change that quite easily, too. The officers come back, though, so there's gives and takes with all of it. With this, um, you know, you, the officers are much tougher. But, um, my god, like, you know, you can get, you can get, uh, like, health pickups and things like that all over, so it's nice. Masu actually does a lot in this one, too, which is nice. In uh, Empires, it doesn't really change much. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, he's just taking it. And I get the weapon experience, so that's nice. You can level up your weapons and stuff in this one. You don't find weapons, I don't think, like you do in the uh, Dynasty Warriors 5. So I like how they kind of change the system, change the formula. You know, you get used to something, and they change it, and they either put a better system in, or maybe, maybe it's not a better system, but it's just... It's different, you know? You're always doing something different. Now, this is going to be tough. 
Shaho Doon is right here, and uh, he's very strong. And Cow Cow is also here, so that's really not good. I'm probably not going to fight that directly. And I may go over here. Yeah, oh god. Foot soldiers are not exactly pushovers in this one either, which is, I mean, kind of cool, but also, man, it makes it tough. I think I had Cow Cow in that one too. Yeah, I did. And so Shaho Dune has been, he's, he's being, you know, taken care of by somebody else over there, which is great. Uh, the cool thing about this one, too, is if you want to start a new playthrough, you keep all the items. So, like, I did the whole, you know, way playthrough with, pro I think, Shaho Dune, actually. And so I did the playthrough, kept the items, so now I just have a bunch of strong items. I just gotta level these guys up and, you know, actually give it to them. There's my horse. Where is, where is this guy? Ow! Not that guy. Where's the, okay, come on. Oh, you know what? If you kill the main officer, they retreat, too. I forgot about that. Um, so, you know, again, give and takes with this. Like, yeah, the main officers leave, so you won't get to kill all of them. Um, but there's also no um, no reinforcements they can call in, like, in Empires. So in Empires, you, uh, you know, you kill an officer, they come back, like, immediately. Amazing. And are they just the same guy. Here, it's like, once you kill somebody, they're just gone. They're just gone, gone. It's a fun game, though. It's a lot of fun to play through these battles. It's a lot of fun to uh, experience different sides of the battles and just kind of level people up. It's like my favorite thing. You know, you collect stuff. Not to a huge degree, but you collect things. You uh, you level things up. I like that a lot, too. Find unique items. Stronger, weaker items. I like that. You know, a little random probability action. seal off some gates. So these gates are in uh, Dynasty Warriors 5, but they're kind of the precursor to the uh, like guard uh, bases and things like that, the attack base and all that. Um, so that's pretty cool. This one does get harder. I think so, like, you know, Wei, Shu, and Wu are the three main, you know, they're the three kingdoms. And so there's like the three main playthroughs that you do are with them. Um, you know, whenever I play through this, I like to do one from each of them, and then do some of these specialized ones. But I was like, ah, you know, whatever. We got Lubu. Let's go get him. We can always do more of these later on, too. But, um, you know, it's not like Dynasty Warriors 5, where the playthroughs are actually kind of short. These are, like, full-on playthroughs. They, they only get kind of, like, super varied at the beginning when you're playing, like, Lubu or Dongzhuo or whoever. Uh, some of those, like, not-just-in-your-face kingdom guys. Um... Yeah, because the three main kingdoms, they, like, start out kind of the same storyline, and then they kind of branch off from there, and you just intersect different fights. But they're all long. You know, people that are supposed to die at certain times don't necessarily die at those times. That was the thing they started doing in Dynasty Warriors 5. So, like, in the history of the game, if someone was supposed to die at a certain time, they would um, base the story around that. So that was pretty cool. I liked it. I like both versions. I like that you can play it different ways. I think that these games came out in such a, you know, similar time period, too, that it doesn't change the feel of the game too much, too. Like, Dynasty Warrior 6 feels a lot different. Uh, still a good game, but feels a lot different, whereas, like, 4 and 5 are very similar play styles with different, like, attributes that went to each one, you know, different things I liked about each... And, you know, little drawbacks here and there. But they were both very good games, honestly. Like, I really like them. I think Empires 5 is a better game than Empires 4. I think Empires 4 is good, but, you know. Those are the four that I've had the most experience with. I've had a little experience with 3, and then, you know, some of the newer ones I've seen played, I haven't really had any experience firsthand. I don't know. Either way, it's just a fun little, like, romp, you know. And since there's so much Dynasty Warrior stuff, we could do a lot of this on Saturdays. You know, Saturdays are just kind of Dynasty Warriors Day. And I was thinking about, at the time of recording this, I don't know what's actually happening. But at the time of recording this, I kind of want to drop like a podcast thing every Saturday too. So you can kind of get like, maybe if Warriors or whatever isn't your thing, um, you know, you can at least get something that day. Do you really think you can shoot me? Okay. All of these guys right now. Is that, who the who the hell is this? 
You want to kill as many of these uh, officers as possible, too, so you can gain experience. Like, you know, you don't want to just end the thing without going through every possible officer. Ow! I want that. He's got a, oh, all recovered? Nice. Now, they're very quick to block in this game, too. Like, very, oh, God. Like, very quick to block. It's a terrible camera angle right now, also. My God. Only big drawback about this is the camera angle sometimes, and there's not much you can really do about it. And you kind of turn the camera, but at very weird, rapid intervals. <clears throat> there we go. All right. That's done now. No. No. <laughs> the hell was that? No. All right. Let's see what we got here. Speed scroll. We're upgrading that. That's good. Okay. I don't have another item slot, so that kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, you level up the weapons, and then you get your, like, level 10 weapon or whatever it is after you do a certain mission or something like that. Okay, so there's Shaho Dune. That's the one I did. All right, let's skip all that nonsense. We'll do the Battle of Hulao Gate now. <clears throat> I think the equipment's staying exactly the same. Bodyguards are all set. Let's just go for it, dude. See if we can do this one pretty quick. But yeah, dude, I hope you guys are having a great one. I hope you guys are enjoying every day, really. Not just uh, Saturdays, but just any day. Penetrated. This far? penetrated. Oh, hey, yo. Go and annihilate you, scum. All right, so. Away with you, Ow. Fodder. I thought he said away with you, fucker. But he said fodder. I'm glad they have the subtitles down there. Wow. Dude, look at these guys. These are three really strong, like, main character kind of guys. And they are absolutely wrecking my ass right now. <laughs> Man. Oh, okay. See you later. Yeah, Shaho Dune has always been really strong in this game. Ow. Wong guy, stop, dude. Holy shit. I thought he was dead or he ran away or something. He was just right there the whole time. He said, nah, dude, I'm I'm on your ass. Ow. You know what I'm wondering, too? I probably went after a level 10 weapon. And I probably have it on hard mode right now. Or at least, I don't know, maybe I don't. But it feels definitely like it's not hard or uh, not easy. I mean, because these guys are hitting hard, dude. Even the foot soldiers, man. They are hitting hard as a rock. Ow. Thank you. So, okay, the things you also have to find out here, you find items in, like, the barrels and stuff like that, but you also find, like, life up in the sewer. So some of these will have, like, you know, life up. Oh, there's well, there's an item. That's pretty sick. Give me that, please. Give me that, please. Jesus Christ. Arrows? Nah. Nah, that ain't... That ain't it, dude. That ain't it. <laughs> having anybody block is annoying, but especially having the gate captain or guard cat, The gate captain, I think, is what it is. Especially having him block, that's annoying as hell. All right, come on. Let's see what we got in here. So I'm working for Dong Zhuo right now. And this is essentially like, what if Dong Zhuo survived? <laughs> oh my god, get dicked. Stupid foot soldiers, man. I swear to god. Archers are annoying in this game. Everything's annoying. This is the classics, you know what I mean? Classics, random dudes that just come out of nowhere and attack you, and archers doing their thing. Soon, Jian's archers. 
I like the red they use for these, too. Oh, look at all these barrels. Look at that floating barrel. What the hell? I do not remember that. All right, so there's Liu Bei, who needs to get off of his horse, please. I think the Tiger Amulet's really helping, though, too. I mean, because I'm doing a lot of damage, I feel like, for, you know, a weak weapon and for all these guys just being absolute killers. Who else seeks death? Ooh, up two. That's pretty nice. I cannot die. All right, come on. <laughs> I cannot die, even though I just died. All right, that opens that gate. Oh, come on, man. Stupid fucking archers. I will never not complain about the archers in this game. They drive me crazy. Soon Jian, let's kill him. I like Liu, or Liu Mang, not Liu Mang, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's a Soon Jian guy that you get later on, and uh, he's he's got a pretty cool weapon. You know, pretty balanced dude. I love people with spears or, you know, whatever, because they're just, their range is just so damn good. Okay, great. I like, that's good. I like when I'm about to do an attack and there's a cutscene and then I end up dying. God damn it, dude. Oh my god. Dude, what is going on here? Look at the map. The map is just blood red with so many enemies. It's crazy. Oh my god. Okay. There's Cow Cow. Okay. I don't know. I think I'll... Yeah. Holy shit. Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll fight Cow Cow. And once I kill this guy... Oh my god, or maybe he kills me. I'll, uh, I'll pause this and we'll pick it up next time. Oh, really? What a dick, dude. What an asshole actually running away when I do my masseu. There you go. Yeah, get out of here, fool. Alright, stop. Yes. See, they give you a lot of health ups and stuff, so that's nice. Alright, yeah, so there's a lot of enemy officers and stuff on here. A lot of stuff we gotta do. I have, I mean, almost two and a half, or one and a half hours left to do this one, so... Uh, we'll pick this up next time, guys. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, I cannot wait to continue this Dynasty Warriors Saturday tradition with y'all. Have a good one, and I will see you next time.